So I don't have a lid over my reef aquarium. And when you don't have a lid over your aquarium, fish can jump out. And I don't want that to happen. So I decided to make my own lid. Now I was able to use a CNC router to cut out this DIY reef aquarium lid. And I know that's not an option available to everyone. However, there are a lot of DIY lids available like these right here and those lids work and they're great i just wanted something a little bit more something i designed myself now i was inspired by some of the custom acrylic lids that i've seen and so i designed my own from scratch real quick this video is sponsored by vessi so stick around to find out how you can save 15 dollars off your pair of vessi shoes so I designed the lid in two sections so that I can easily remove each side to service the tank. So once the machine finished cutting out the lid, I had to remove the paper that was covering both sides to reveal a nice, shiny, clear finish. The next step was to see if this even fit the tank and yes they'd fit on top of the tank it's looking pretty good so far the next step is to put the final touches on which is the screen and here are a few things that you would need if you're following along at home this is eighth of an inch spline and i bought a hundred feet of this stuff i guess i didn't want to run out of it Next up is the clear mesh that's going to act as our screen for this lid and it has 8 millimeter square holes. And of course you're going to need a screen spline tool, this is just the cheap one. And of course don't forget a pair of trusty scissors. Now unfolding the mesh I realized that you get quite a bit in this package and even if you're not making a plexi or acrylic DIY lid and you're making one of the other DIY kits you can still use the spline tool here and the mesh and spline that I've ordered I will link up the Amazon affiliate links in the description below the coral reef talk gets a small commission if you click on those links so definitely check those out if you're making one yourself but yes this was a lot of screen so I took the scissors and cut a section of the mesh that's just a little bit larger than the frame of my aquarium lid and once I had that cut to the right size, it was time to put the spline on. Now when measuring the spline, you want to make sure you get it all the way around the perimeter of your frame. Give a little bit of excess once you reach the end because you can always trim that off later. Now the challenging part to this process is when you're actually using the spline tool to hold your screen in place. It's a challenge to keep the screen as tight as possible so that it's not loose once you get it in the grooves. But it's a pretty straightforward process. You just use the spline tool to push the spline into the groove that is either provided in the one that you're making or in my case i had this cut into the plexi so it didn't go through but just enough to create a groove to push the spline into to hold the screen in place but yeah keeping the screen tight was the most challenging part and because there's two sections to this lid i had to repeat the process trimming the screen to size and then measuring out the spline of course for this side as well there's an extra little piece here that i custom cut for the vast marine plank but you can see the overlap right there with the spline and that's perfectly fine lay out the screen then get your spline started with the tool and i just made my way around the perimeter of the frame just like the first side making sure that the mesh is pulled tight as i'm going around as tight as i could now when i push the spline in of course that tightens up the sides and then i take the, the scissors here and i'm trimming off any extra screen you want to trim it as close to the spline tool as possible giving a nice clean finish to the tank lid now before we get to the reveal of the tank lid on the aquarium, I just want to tell you about Vessi waterproof shoes. Now these sneakers are 100% waterproof, 100% vegan, and they keep your feet cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Head over to Vessi.com to check out a pair of shoes for you and use code Coral Reef at checkout to save $15 off your order. That's code Coral Reef at checkout.